Hello and welcome to Fun Prep. On this video, we're going to be looking at how to build a value at risk model. More specifically, we're going to be using the historical simulation approach, which basically means that we're going to be using historical data to compute the probabilities. But before we jump to Excel, let's talk a bit about what exactly value at risk is. So what is value at risk? Value at risk is the most common risk model. It is more formally known as P-bar, where P stands for the probability of breaking the bar. So you would usually see something like a one day, 1% 1 bar of negative 5.2%. How can you interpret this? It basically means that in any given day, there's a 1% chance of losing 5.2% or more of your portfolio. And this is one of the pitfalls of value at risk. It doesn't really tell you how much can you lose once you have breached the bar. So it doesn't really tell you how severe the catastrophic scenario can be. There's also a dollar bar, which basically means that you multiply your return, your negative return times the size of your portfolio. And that's the way you get the dollar bar. So let's look at how this really works. So we're going to jump to Excel now. So we're back on Excel. Here I have my data, which is the Twitter close price over the entire year. Um, here we can assume that our portfolio is comprised 100% of Twitter stock. But if you wanted to do this with a real portfolio, all you would need to do is compute the price of your portfolio, the value of your portfolio on the entire period. And the process would be basically the same. So the first step is going to compute the returns. So we're going to be using log returns. So we're just going to take the log of today's price over yesterday's price. And we are going to run this on the entire period. So let me explain what I'm doing here. Here I have a max function and a min function. I'm doing this just to make it easier to compute the pins. So I'm going to start in the from the minimum value and go all the way to the maximum value. This is entirely optional. This is so you can create a histogram and look at how the, the returns are distributed, but you can just compute the value at risk using the percentage, percentile function. But in this example, we're going to be constructing the histogram first. So if you already have your pins, you just go to data, you go to data analysis, histogram and your input range is going to be your entire series of returns and your bin range is the one I have created here that goes from your minimum value all the way to your maxim maximum value and we're going to select chart output and we're going to decide where we want to see this graph so let's say here we click OK wait a second and here we have our histogram. So maybe I could have used more beans to make it look a bit better, but that's entirely up to you. It really depends on your data. So here we have, we can see that most of our returns are positive. They are most of the times, since we are using daily data, they are going to have a mean zero. So this is very useful. You can look at your returns and see how it, it is distributed. But let's get into value at risk. So to compute the value at risk, you are just going to need your P, that is 1%, 5%, basically what, what percentage of times do you ex expect to breach the value at risk? And then you are going to use the percentile function and you're just going to select all your returns and then you are just going to enter your p and there we have it so what does this mean this means that in one one percent of our of the time we're going to lose 17.5 percent of our portfolio or more so let's say we have a portfolio size of one million dollars so in this simple example ju we're just going to multiply this return times the portfolio size and we get the dollar bar 
that is how much crude we lose in dollar value at any given day, 1% of the times. Just remember that this is not the expected shortfall. That means that this once we have breached the 1% mark, this is going to be the best case scenario. So you could actually lose way more than this value. So that's basically it and thank you for watching.